Have you heard of the four minute mile rule? Well, let me tell you about it. For decades, scientists, athletes, and sports writers claim that to run a mile, it must take four minutes, not a second less. But then came along a lovely Englishman called Roger Bannister. Without realizing it, he propelled the human potential to new heights by crossing the finish line and completing a mile in three minutes, 59 seconds. Not only did he trim two seconds of the world record, but he changed the perception of the world on man's capacity to run. And after him, a host of runners quickly emulated his success and even went beyond it. Currently, by the way, the mile running record is three minutes and 43 seconds. But my question is, how was a speed barrier that held for over a century broken? And the answer is simple. Roger Bannister didn't know that there's a rule that you can't run a mile in less than four minutes. And when you don't know something, it doesn't hold you back. And I think the lesson is very clear. Barriers and boundaries of achievement, may they be of the mind or the body, they're often self-fulfilling prophecies to the extent that if we believe something is possible, it becomes possible. And if we believe something is impossible, it really becomes impossible. In life, we often define our own limits. And I think this message is very important as we're starting our new year and taking on new resolutions. Because Roger Bannister's story teaches us that we should not be afraid to push our personal barriers. We can do so much more. This also explains why on Yom Kippur we say the al khet prayer nine times. Because you see in Hebrew, khet obviously means a sin. But it can also mean lacking or missing. So when we read the list of al khet and we enumerate all our iniquities, in addition to apologizing and atoning for them, we're also recognizing that we might be lacking in these areas because we have created false mental barriers that prevent us from maximizing our potential and succeeding much more. Let's conclude with what General Montgomery once said. He said, the difficult we do immediately, the impossible takes a little longer. On Yom Kippur, we Jews put it differently. There is no such thing as impossible. What makes it impossible is that we think it's impossible. So let's think that things are possible. And let's remember, the impossible is the same letters as I'm possible. Let us live up to our potential and break all the unnecessary boundaries. Wishing you Shabbat Shalom and easy over the fast. Shana Tovah.